Hey everyone, this is a quick tutorial and demonstration video of my new Terraria companion app uh, that I'm calling T-Buddy. And basically what this app does is it sits on top or runs in adjacent to Terraria and it gives you a couple of different nice features uh, for Terraria. The main one being auto fishing. In addition to quick using of hotbar items and quick switching loadouts. From the former to the latter, uh, what you're able to do is, for example, quickly in this case use my bug net in order to collect a bug and then immediately go back to uh, my item in my first slot. Same thing can be done for my second slot as well. So I can use my bug net and then it'll immediately go back to reinforce fishing rod. I can also quickly, in this case, use my rod of discord, uh, which is set to nine, and then we'll go back to whatever it was that I previously had selected. Or I can quickly, for example, drink a recall potion, which can be very useful if you want to get out of a jam quickly. So in addition to this, the ability to quickly swap loadouts, if you press the V key, which is typically unbound, it allows you to quickly cycle between all of your various different loadouts, one, two, and three in order. Lastly, the thing to show you is the auto fishing functionality. And what this is, is you're able to click to cast your rod unclick on top of your bobber and then press right alt and then you're able to completely afk and what it will do is it will cast your rod in the same spot every single time and then it will check the pixel that you unclicked on for any changes and the moment that it detects that there is a significant change it will reel in uh, the fish so yeah these are the main functionalities of this application and i will now show you how to install it Okay, so to install T-Buddy, all you need to do is navigate to this link in the description, click on tbuddy.exe, and then click download. And download to whatever folder that you would like to download it to, click save, and then navigate to said folder, and then double click on the executable. So typically what will happen is that it will immediately be caught by Windows Defender, Defender or your antivirus, and the reason why is because what this software does is it monitors your keyboard inputs, which is typically in line with key loggers. However, in this case, there is no logging going on. If you would like to look over all of the code and see if there's anything malicious that you might be worried about, it can all be found in the repository here. So in order to get past this, click more info and click run anyway on Windows. On other operating systems, you're gonna have to probably recover the file and uh, bypass the uh, antivirus. So click run anyway and what this will do is it'll open up this screen and it'll display a bunch of text here which is a tutorial and some other configuration options. If this doesn't show up as a black screen simply exit out and rerun it again until until you eventually see this um, this block of text. So once this is running you're done. Just go back to Terraria, do what it is that you were going to do and you're basically good to go. You don't have to uh, configure anything else. However, if you would like to, to configure some things, I'm gonna go over some of the basic configuration options for this software. So up here, you'll see that it says to press F9 in order to start a configuration menu, so I will do that. And it'll give you the options of one, two, through eight in order to change various different settings. So I'm gonna go over some of the most common ones so for example, let's say your middle mouse click is bound to grapple um, and you want to either disable it or do, or, or for example, if you just want to change the key associated with middle click, you can do that as well. So click one, press enter, uh, which says change the hotbar key associated with middle mouse click. Current is four. So one enter will give you this and it'll say give a number for the middle mouse click. So for example, I could say five. And then what that'll do is if I press five or if I press middle mouse click, sorry, it'll quick use, I guess, five in this case. Um, so anyways, uh, however, if let's say for example, you want to disable it, click one again, and then type in disable, and then that will completely disable the middle mouse click functionality. You can do that for any of the mouse keys. For f the option of four, it allows you to make it so that way the loadout swapping only cycles between loadouts one and two. So if I click four and press enter, um, it'll say that the toggle is currently set to true. So what this means is that if I press V to cycle through my loadouts, it's only going to cycle between loadouts one and two. I can still access loadout three at any point and then press V again to cycle between loadouts one and two. But 
this is useful if, if for example, in boss fights you want to cycle between only two loadouts instead of all three. This gives you the option to do that. I'm going to get out of the way of that slime that's going to be coming for me here in a second. All right, cool. So the other configuration options in here is the ability to cycle between auto fishing as an advanced or basic functionality. By default, it's set to the advanced functionality, but if you would like it to just be basic auto fisher, which just clicks on the same spot every single time. Uh, and then so what I'll do is I'll just press right alt and it'll now it's set to basic fish. So basically it'll just pull in the line every, I think five seconds or so uh, in order to uh, auto fish. Or sorry, three seconds is what it's set to by default. You can change that if you press seven and you can change it to, for example, attempt to auto fish every two seconds instead. So I'll press right alt and it'll wait for two seconds and then reel in the line you get the idea. However, I recommend for the most part using the auto fishing functionality. Uh, you can change yeah, you can change the delay of that. You can also change the tolerance of the advanced fishing functionality by default set to 75. I'd recommend leaving it that way. However, if it's darker, you can set the tolerance to be much lower um, and then it'll be much more sensitive to uh, reeling in the line. However, I mostly just advise that you light up the fishing area as opposed to messing with the tolerance but it's there if you would like to uh, and lastly if you have an older computer and you're finding that the auto clicking um, of the hotbar items just isn't registering properly you can increase the delay of the auto clicker which will slow down this functionality but it will work better on older computers that maybe can't keep up with clicks that are happening too quickly so that's it, those are the configuration options. Once you're done configuring, I recommend you press nine and then enter in order to exit the configuration menu. So that way, if for whatever reason, you're pressing enter and something else, you're not changing settings by accident. Once you restart the software, all of the settings will return back to normal, um, which is just the way that the software is currently set up to run. So yeah, that's pretty much everything for T-Buddy. Hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks for watching.